Melinda Haynes license number 102308. We're going to talk about another way to implement flashlighting into your interactions with a narcissist. And we're going to pull some techniques from improv. So you've probably seen this show, Whose Line Is It Anyway, where they just do all kinds of improv things. We're going to take some of these tricks and techniques to perform a, a fun and exciting improv show. But we're going to use it towards working with the narcissist. So one of the techniques that we see with improv is the yes and. So this goes along with the don't defend yourself thing. Okay, so you work, you're talking to a narcissist, you're working with a narcissist, and they say something narcissisty. You're instead of defending yourself, instead of you know getting upset and and getting emotional about it and starting to think like, oh no, I got to get away from this person, and this is you know this is a horrible situation, and and getting all like upset about it, and getting into the what what's called a spin cycle. Instead of getting into that, you're going to say yes and. And then add something to it. You know, yes and, yes and, you love it. Yes and, I do it so well. Just go with it, kind of set up the yes and. So instead of fighting it, instead of getting a, you know angry and, and trying to get away from it, go with it. So when they throw something at you, you say yes and. Another thing is that you are going to set them up this is also from improv. You're going to set them up for the ba bang, that kind of like punchline joke. So you, instead of fighting again, instead of defending and fighting, you're setting them up to do a one-liner, you know, um, a good put down, whatever it is. You're setting them up for it. Now, this is not so that you can become a, a doormat and and because you love abuse or anything like that. You're just stepping away from that push pull. Um, you know, the, the pursue, pursue, avoid, the um, attack, withdrawal. You're stepping away from all of these, these dynamics that end up, you know, getting us into that whirlwind and that crazy making and all that. You're stepping away from it. So when they say something and you say yes and, and then you set them up again, you know, for um, the win. You set them up for the win. <laughs> You're basically yanking the carpet out from underneath their feet because they're expecting the fight. They're expecting the challenge. They're expecting to one up. And when you just give it to them and you're just like, here you go, here, I'm setting you up for this, this, uh, this punchline, this thing. And then you're like, oh, that's a good one. High five, you know, great, you know, or ooh, touche. You just kind of go with it. You're stepping out of the fight and the pull. So then now they're going to have to readjust. So the trick is to not fall back into the pattern on the next go around. Okay, because they're going to come at you with something else. They're going to do something something sideways or whatever. And you've got to just be, you know, kind of, eh, yeah, and, or here, let me give you the next, the next setup. So you're giving them material or you're giving them the opportunity. It's the same way that we teach kids to deal with bullying at school, on the schoolyard. You know, when they, you know, oh, you know, you're a, a, a stinky pants or whatever. And then they, the child responds with, yeah, I know, I need to take a bath. When we teach kids to do that, where they're just like, you know, I'm not even going to play this game. I'm, you know, if that's what you want to say about me, good. Yeah, mm -hmm, you're right. I'll agree. So what we're, we're saying is, in effect, your words don't have power over me. I'm not going to allow them to. I'm stepping out of this game. I'm not even going to play anymore. This is, this is not productive use of my time. So we're sending a message where you, you, can, you don't control me. Okay, you don't control me. Now you're confused. You can still keep trying, but you're going to have to figure out something different because I'm not going to do this anymore. So there is an awful amount of power, an amazing amount of power in doing this. Okay, so... What do you think? Let me know. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching.